Hi everyone, in this incredibly short Pro Tools tutorial, we're going to be looking at how to create ADR beeps using nothing but keyboard shortcuts. So I'll just show you what I'm talking about. When you re-record dialogue as ADR, it's common to use three beeps to act as accounting for the actor so they know when to deliver the line. So here's an example of the beeps along with the line which would be replaced. How about it? Fancy coming out? Uh Okay, so I'll quickly demonstrate how these beeps can be created from the keyboard and then I'll run through the various steps more slowly and explain what I'm doing. Here we go. And there you go. Okay, so that was done entirely with keyboard shortcuts. Let me just get rid of that track and I'll just talk you through the process. So at the time when I actually stopped this running, we had something like that. So we had a selection across two tracks. Both of them were audible. Let me just run this from the start again. How about it? Fancy coming out? Okay, so one of the first things I did was to turn off Timeline Insertion Follows Playback uh, by pressing the N key. It's possible that in this second run through I might not do things in exactly the same order, but these are the shortcuts which I used. Next I did Shift M to mute the two tracks which have the selection in them. Then I created a new track, Shift Command N, Return, create the new track. Next I need to move that cursor down from those two tracks into the new one and this is reliant on you having commands focus on so commands focus is over here in fact if it isn't on so if it was off like that you could do command option and one to turn it on now that it's on I need to move the cursor down so the colon key moves it down if I wanted to move it up it's P so P and colon move it up and down next I need to get that back to the start of the session so I'm going to press the return key if I want to zoom in it's T so I'll zoom in a couple of times. Now I need to actually make a timeline selection of what will become the first beep. So I'm going to hold down the command key and the shift key and on the numeric keypad press the plus button and that will basically make a selection based on your current nudge value. I'll mention something else about this towards the end. So now we actually need to create the one kilohertz beep and this is basically the consolidate command plus the control key. So if you just have a look in the edit menu you can see that consolidate clip would be option shift 3 but if you throw control in there as well then it will create a 1 kilohertz tone at minus 20 dBFS so it's option shift control 3 there's our beep now I'm going to extend that selection if I was in grid mode I could do this by just holding down the command key and pressing the plus key on the numeric keypad let me just show you that so if I switch to grid I can easily do that but you can also do it in shuffle, however, what you'll notice is it just doesn't work, so you have to hold down Command Shift and plus, the plus on the numpad. Okay, that's our selection. If you want to audition the timing on that so you can determine whether or not you need a longer selection, then you can enable loop playback. That's just four on the numpad. You can see at the top of the edit window that's toggling on and off. So put that on and we'll check that. Okay, that's fine. I might just zoom out a little bit actually, so I'm just going to press R and I'm going to duplicate this. So Command D duplicates the selection. I'll do that twice. Okay, and that now represents the end of where our ADR beeps clip will be. Now I just need to select all of that and make a clip group. So I'm going to press Shift Return to extend the selection backwards to the start of the session. Make a clip group, Command Option G, and there it is. That last stage could also have been consolidate, so you could consolidate or you could create a clip group, whichever you prefer. So that's it. Even if you don't specifically need to create ADR beeps, these shortcuts are still useful as they can be applied in all kinds of Pro Tools workflows. One final thing just before I go, I mentioned before about the nudge value. So the nudge value is at the top of the edit window here. One way of changing it is to actually click on it and choose a different one, so if I change that to six frames. But there is a way that you can do it from the keyboard and it's just command and option, and then the plus and minus keys will increment or decrement the nudge value, you know, just like that. Well, that's it. I told you it was going to be a short one. See you again soon.